Hey guys, Sam here and today I'm going to be doing something that literally is about electronics. Really not what you should do on this channel, it's all about vlogs. Okay, let's get on. We're starting with a Game Boy Advance. Let's see what's the difference between the Game Boy Advance and an iPhone. But first we're going to do the Game Boy Advance. So... Now you like install them on Google Play or App Store, but back then, back in 2001, you had to uh, do uh, you had to buy discs, put it in your Game Boy, and then um, walk around and play with it. And I chose these two devices because they're both portable. Game Boy Advance. It's the retro one up in here, and the iPhone is actually the new one. So, kick things off, the, the, the brightness on Game Boy Advances are really not good. Oh my god, it is so dark. You can't even see that? I know, I really... I can't turn it off. You When, when I'm playing Sapphire... It's just so hard, quite hard to see, but it's fine. You can see it a little, but it's just very bad. Now, as we know it, we've got phones now more secure than your Game Boy Advances or things like that. We've got passwords, play on games without buying them. And it's just a lot better than retro devices. Also, models are much better than old uh, retro devices like this. Also, catching, like in Pokemon, is not very good on the advance. If I catch this Geodude, Okay, that's rubbish but it went really nice and I'm gonna say retro things I love the most but they're not gonna be the winner new ones win because they're a lot more portable than this because you just have to buy games for things like this you don't need to buy games, just install them, don't need to ask it mum or dad. Like, can I, can I buy this game please? They could say yes or no. But they always say yes with the new ones. It shakes. Alright. And it's so hard to get the games out. Sometimes it kind of hurts your thumbs. And you can only use your thumbs to open this. That actually quite hurt this thumb. It was my left thumb and it really quite hurt. Sapphire really doesn't work on Game Boy Advance. And if you didn't have any games on your Game Boy Advance, you could literally do nothing. Just staring at a Game Boy logo. Not really the thing but you, that you could do. But if you had no games on your iPhone and it was brand new, what you could do is you could just go around, do things and install things. Just not being bored. Just doing things. And it'll be a lot better than just uh, waiting and stirring at a Game Boy logo, waiting for your dad to say, okay, time to get a game. Then you'll say, yay, whoop poop. This is just rubbish. I mean, what? But I do play Sapphire. And also, it's very uh, common for the buttons to get really uh, not really dirty and 
faulty. Also, it's a little better than the DS. Because the DS, if your games don't work, you have to blow into them. But you don't, because when I bought uh, this Game Boy, the person says, do not blow into the game cartridge. Now, uh, these are cartridges, not, not discs, not cassettes, not anything. Not DVDs, it's not anything. It, it's a cartridge. Cartridges used to look like this. And people who are not used to cartridges, and they know this was made in 2001, they'd say, why the heck is there a cartridge they have to use? in the console in 2001. Pretty crazy. We're going to say iPhone somewhere now because Game Boy, not used to it, but come on. It's fine, I guess, but the controls are good, but the graphics aren't good. The, the brightness is not good. Battery is not good because it's only six hours playtime, and you have to buy the games. Not like the iPhone, but Nintendo people should agree with me because, uh, because oh my god, because iPhones now they're a lot better than the Advance. It's a lot better. And now they've got the switch, so they could say, Advance is rubbish, let's use the switch. Anyways, that's all for the video. Goodbye.